what is up everyone? This is Super Mask. Welcome back to more Alien Noir. Finish this for 360. Okay, one. First things first. Tell these people to piss off. This is a I secure swear, area. This town you all is need to leave. To hell. Clear this area immediately. Show's over. Keep moving, all of you. All right. Let's scope this suburban outfit. That's the creep. Walked out on his wife. What'd you say about me, huh? I was married by it. And now tell this side to piss off. Is somebody gonna This is a crime scene. All of you move along. Show's over. Keep moving, all of you. quite weird that we're not going this after the guy to be who's running offices of the suburban redevelopment fund this is an elysian housing development mac so elysian is an investor in the redevelopment fund looks that way are we done here mac i've got work to do sure buddy thanks for your help elysian are investors in the suburban redevelopment so what if you think i'm putting my pay hey, that wasn't rest, much help monroe without evidence you're out of your mind As soon as we could. What are you doing? Lynch. Biggs? You two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Why? I had a look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at it. This the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. I have a theory, and it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove... Al, if you say it's so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve and the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. 
Now the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. needs to be next to the coil if it's going to ignite. Good, your regulator's in position. Okay, I'll let your pilot turn the gas. You pull the lever on the left to turn on the gas. Whoa. Whew. So that's how it's being done. Maybe. There could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to InstaHeat and see what they say. Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. See you at the next show. Right, Insta Heat, here we come. Show? The next fire. You should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. You know this Chapman character? The guy's a freak. Loves fires. He's the kind of guy that would like for a lot of things. We don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. Any available unit, meet the officer. 211 just occurred. At 253 Main Street, unit to handle code 2, identify to Instaheat where cars randomly spawn. LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Rasick. You should find him in his office. Mr. A man like you always loses a battle of wits. What do you say, Constance? Swine, look at him. What the hell? How bad is he? Come on, you can tell me. I think his name is Felt. That poor lady killed him. Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70. Uh, let me take a look. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. 
The diaphragm regulates flow. It's been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. You're telling me that you've never had any problems with this heater? Look, we've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? It's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not all safe, either. Are these diaphragms prone to failure? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years, and then it perishes. So the guys' names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. I think you're lying, Rasik. I think some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate to cover your sales. And how are you going to prove that, detective? Name me one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. What about Matthew Ryan? Uh, you know about Ryan, huh? All right, he's been in some trouble, I know that. He's done his time. You in the habit of hiring criminals, Rasik? I need guys, detective. This boom is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. Okay, I'll get it for you. There, around a dozen of them. Housing business is going crazy at the moment. This is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. I want to run it by R&I, cross-reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. Are you liquored up? Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. What the heck, Briar? Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, Detective, run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, Kuttner Robert, Limehouse Albert, Manning Franklin, Neves Raymond, O'Brien Thomas, Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Varley Reginald, Zurich Stephen. Clemens Walter, previous conviction for arson and malicious damage. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Four-year jail term. Thanks. Ryan Matthew, charged for contempt of court, attempted murder, plea bargain down to assault charge. Anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. Your employment roster is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Rasick. Desperate times indeed. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and Third. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and First Street. Varley, where is he? Beverly and Mariposa, currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do, but my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Show him and keep quiet. What the hell? Here. Happy now? Stick around, Mr. Rasick.
Clemens is a fellow traveler. Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. A company went through thousands of these in the war, still got eaten alive. Damn it. Barley has a problem with bugs. You know that a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, Rasik? No, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. Mind if I leave you to it? I got work waiting. Three birds. Clemens, Ryan, Varley. Okay, and that's it for this episode of Eddie Noir. If you like the video, remember to like, comment, subscribe for more videos and for more Eddie Noir. And until then, see you later.